Hi, and welcome to day five of the Healthier and Stronger Runner's Body Challenge. Now, the purpose of today's lesson is to get you into another part of the 4X runner routine. Remember in day two, we worked on flexibility with active isolated stretching routines like rope stretching. And I also showed you a great routine to relieve muscle tightness using a foam roller. Today's healthy habit is strength training. Strength and flexibility exercises go together because they help prevent injury and they ensure we have a healthy runner's body. Today, I will provide you with some simple exercises that you can start performing immediately. These exercises will aid in preventing a variety of injuries. And if you get in the habit of completing these and really eventually other exercises, you'll be stronger, faster, and able to run more efficiently. Today's challenge task will be to watch the video and complete level one of the strength and flexibility exercises. You'll notice that in the video that none of the exercises that I complete require weights, nor do you need to be in the gym. We want to start at level one and complete these exercises for a few weeks, at least three to four times per week. If you're just starting strength and flexibility training, I recommend starting with body weight exercises. This is an easy way to improve your strength without having to use expensive equipment. After a few weeks, you may start working in the level two exercises. The level two exercises are a little more difficult and they should really be completed on days when you have a harder workout such as a long run or hills or track work. The reason that you're gonna complete the level two exercises on the hard days and level one exercises on your easy run days, that is covered in the sleep and recovery download where I told you to keep your hard days hard and your easy days easy. You see, it's a great strategy that will help optimize your performance in the long term. Now, if you maintain strength and flexibility as a regular training habit, you're gonna eventually transition to light external weights. And then as you get stronger, and finally, you'll get to move up to the heavier loads with heavier weights, and typically people use those during the off season. In my custom training plans and personalized coaching programs I, that I offer on my website, middleagemarathoner.com, I provide additional levels of strength and conditioning exercises, which can help athletes prepare for longer races like 10K, half, and full marathons. The bottom line is regularly completing these healthy runner habit exercises is not only gonna improve your strength, but also your flexibility. This is important for runners because it makes your body basically more resistant to injury. So go ahead and complete today's task. What this means is that you're gonna just watch the videos 
and the instructions for each of the exercises. You should start with level one, like I said, because they're a little easier. And then if you can complete those and you're comfortable, tomorrow go ahead and give the level two exercises a try. They are shown in the second video. So please let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget though, to continue with the other daily healthy habits that we've been starting and doing the first four days. They include, but aren't limited to healthy diet, rope stretching, lunges, leg swings, and drinking plenty of water, and of course, getting sufficient rest. Have a great day.